lovely Patricia Lovell. And I wanted to ask you, what prompted you to come on a retreat in Ireland? <sighs> okay. <laughs> to celebrate writing. Yes. But originally I was um, booked in to come on the um, retreat scheduled for... <gasps> 2021, in yes. January 2021. Yes. yes. And the dates fell from the 11th of January to the 16th of January. Mm -hmm. My 70th birthday was on the 10th of January. Oh, wow. So I thought, what a great way to spend the 70th birthday. Definitely. And, and I thought, didn't have to worry about anyone getting in touch with me or mm -hmm. ignoring me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. January is a difficult time. I know. I birthday. have a daughter born in January and she laments the fact that she was born in January all of her life. That's Everyone right. else has big parties. I don't get to have a big party because I was born in January. Well, it's school holidays. Mm -hmm. People are away on holidays. Correct. And so I thought, just after Christmas. That's right. By the 10th of January, they've run out of good cheer, money and party mm -hmm. spirits. Correct. <laughs> Correct. So I thought, oh, what a great way to celebrate, to gift myself mm. on my 70th birthday. But it didn't happen. And so um, but I've kept that mentality, yes. um, even though it's now here, um, June? This is June, yes, isn't it? Is, it? it is I'm June. losing track of days. Um, yeah, so, and so I'm really happy to be here. Um, and of course now I'm 71 and a half. <laughs> But Sprightly. I still feel 70. <laughs> but the, the, the thing is, when it came up, and of course then you have the fears about COVID and anything yes. like that, I thought, yes. oh gosh, girl. Um, and because I have all my light bulb moments in the shower. Yes. And it said, how many opportunities are you going to have to have such a, um, an experience? Absolutely. Because we never know what's around the corner. We never know. And so I thought, hmm, I'm going. And, well done. And I Good just decided you. I'm going. And here I am. And I'm loving the experience. Fantastic. I wanted to talk to you about your writing um, journey. And so your books are written later in life. And I'm just curious to know what prompted you to do that? Did you always have books in your plan? Did you always have books in your mind? Did it, and it was this was now the right time for them to come into um, fruition? I think it was the right time, but mm. yes, I always had on the mind I wanted to write a book, but I had no idea what the book was going to be mm. about. Um, and I kept sort of changing some hours as I got older, I was changing hours at work or days and thought eventually I'm going to give myself two days a week to write. Yeah. That was like in my mind. But then, um, but I never got around to it. Yeah. But I did write a book in 2006 between my, and it was spurred on by my aunt's death. And, but it got to editing stage, but then I've never taken it anywhere mm -hmm. else. And, and it was sort of like a book about, uh, well, the first title was God Doesn't Give a Shit, but <laughs> that, that got changed. <laughs> that got changed for God's sake. Okay. But it was like a book about um, anti, not anti-religion, but yeah, anti no. what religion has done to God. Mm, I and agree. And you know, being exclusive rather than mm, inclusive. Good. And it all started from when a nurse came into my aunt's room after she'd passed and said, what religion will I put on the paperwork? And the question came into my mind, what will they call me when I'm gone? Mm -hmm. And so that's spurred it. But it sat there, still gathering dust. Uh, and, but I kept thinking, I'm going to get back to writing. But then... I have a great Did one to put distraction yes, in place. Yes. But no, I didn't plan a little bit. I woke up from a and dream and, you little, wrote. and yes, my first published book there, a little bit arrived and I wrote it. Amazing. And then I felt then seven sort of inspiring short stories came mm. 
between the 13th of December and the 26th of December. Mm -hmm. And they downloaded very quickly. And they wrote them out. And usually when I write anything, inspirational or something, a few people might get it, and but I'd pull back. And I thought, no, you can't pull back this time. You've got to go, yeah. You've got to go forward. And I felt, oh, like the Irish blessing, mm -hmm. the wind at your back. I felt like, I've really got to move forward with this. I'm and so it. proud that you did. Patricia Lovell, thank you for spending five minutes with me. It's been a divine delight. Thank you.